Hi, this is Jill with Crick Flex, and I know that most of you have seen my craft room in the past. However, um, I did get a message from uh, somebody in YouTube um, this this morning that was saying she wished that I'd, I'd film how I have, and I have made quite a how I have everything set up, and I've made quite a few changes. So I said I'll go ahead and do it again. Um, this is when you walk into my room. I'm whoops stuck on my door but this would be when you would walk into my room my door's not open all the way because I've got some my husband just put up my track lighting um, and he needs to put a plate up there and so he's got all his tools behind my door and I can't get in there I can't get in and out real good but anyway um, I have one of these these uh, um, paper snacks that I had gotten it I don't even remember, I think Hobby Lobby, and that's what I used to use for my papers before I converted to the Jet Max. And so now, so it doesn't go to total waste, I use all the wires here and hang bent paper clips or clip it up, our, um, the clip it up our little clips and clip all sorts of bling. You'll find here, um, just these are bags and bags and bags of bling and they're all on the clip art and this little wire thing. This is on wheels so you can, when I'm working, I have my gadget bag up here and sometimes you'll see me when I'm videotaping, I'll be reaching up and that's where my gadgets are. Um, you know, my scissors and all that stuff. And then inside this are, I use these shelves yeah, for projects that I'm working on like when I'm not done with them, I'll just slide them in, paper scraps, my glue sticks, things like that. And I wheel it over when I'm working so it's right next to me. And then when it's not, um, inside my closet here is tons of, well there's also Jet Max. Oops, she can't see, it's too dark in there because um, I've got the thing in front of me. But there's Jet Max cubes in here. And the Jet Max cubes inside the closet are full of things that I very rarely use. Kind of a backup when I run out of something, I store it in here. And then this printer I use to print out my invoices. So it's in the closet. I don't use it for anything but invoices. Um, and the other end of the closet is uh, Jet Max cubes stacked up all the way to the ceiling that holds um, all of my granddaughter's um, candles products. Oops, I'm sorry about that, but I tipped my iPad over. It's charging on the floor. Real smart spot for it. Anyway, everybody ask about my printer. I have an Epson 7510, and it sits on top of Jet Max cubes that are full of paper and tools that I use and I want handy, like my hot gun and my, my Sutter um, distressor and then stack packs. The uh, paper stack packs that are on this shelf are separated by hollow, um, holidays. There's Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, etc. That's those. That's where I store those stacks. And then um, my drawers are full of my paints and more packs of paper. Um, these mo and then when I'm filming, my, my station that I film on is right here. I pull out this drawer and I set my tripod right here and it films down there. That's where I do my filming. And up here is a bin that, let's see what this bin is full of. Oh, these are prepackaged. Um, I don't know how this one got in here. It's in the wrong pack. Oh, well, I don't know where I put that one. Anyway, this is full of um, die cuts that are all ready to go when I'm working on my scrapbooking. I have two bins, uh, two bins plus a ton of boxes full. This is my workstation. That's my little candle. This is where I keep all my spools of my um, baker's twine. And then I have little bottles of buttons that I use. And then this is my magnetic board and these are full of different kinds of bling and some of my stamps. Again, this is where I do my filming. And then I'm working on some La La Loopsy. Um, they will, I might be videotaping those too. Here's where I keep all of my um, Martha Stewart 
stamps or punches. Um, these are my larger ones to the front and then to the back are the ones that are the smaller which are the with the corner so that you can go all the way around like a square or a rectangle. Um, those are on the back. Up here I keep as many flowers as I can fit um, right in front of my TV. Um, and then on the end of these shelves that my husband put up for me is my uh, Oh, what is this called? Stampin' Up inks. And then this, these little blings and stuff up here are my granddaughters and then paper clips and whatnot. And my granddaughter and me. There's my granddaughter and me. Well, my granddaughter, that just tells you five years ago or four years ago because she was just turning one there. Then when I back up, um, I thought I, hold on just a second. Um, well, I can't show down there because that's my control alt. Hold on just a second. Well, I can't show down there because that's my workstation I'm working today. Sorry for that. Um, these are my EK Success punches and my bind it all and a tape dispenser. And then this little boxes are empty right now because I sold all of my my imagine um, machine and cartridges. Then I have ribbons over here and this is my this corner that I'm not showing, I'll show you my keyboard is where I work. This is where I sit and work and down there is where my little puppy my dog, I lost one dog recently that everybody's aware of, but the other one this is where they would sleep while I was working right under my feet and then over here is another workstation. I have my glass tops here and put underneath my glass my my Christmas cards of my grandkids. And I have attached a strip, power strip to the window so the window wood around it and use that for all my my um well whatever I have to plug in. And then over here's another glass top and my little my little pictures of my sable so I can look at her every day and then I have her tags and a card that they sent me from the vet and over here is where I do all my designing um, another glass top and my Mac on the wall here is another little rod that holds all of my bling not all of my bling these are all brads all of these are full of brads and then I keep my extra blades there. There's my granddaughter and my grandson and my granddaughter and my granddaughter Charlie who's just going to be two in a couple days. This here was actually a rack that I got on eBay that was to hold the, um, the Tim Holtz Distress inks and what I did is I went through and I put the color so that it was easy for me to see. So there's a little piece of color paper there. That's my distress ink. But I also keep my Imaginist, um these things that you use the hot gun to put them on. Um, and my Tim Holtz staples and then my bling. And this is all full of bling and replacement blades for cutting. I don't like to run out of things. And I don't know if you can tell by looking, but I don't run out of things. I have plenty of everything. There's my machine and where it sits. One of them, my backup machine is sitting over there. Um, here's my stickles. They hang upside down on my my cabinet with um, Velcro. Underneath are more bling on the little clips. And in the cabinet, I will back up. There are all my inks. The little containers in the top are full of fine glitters. These baskets way on the top are full of CD cases full of stick uh, stamps. It's the easiest way for me to store them. Um, I have all my inks and um, glitter mist. This is just my cabinet full of all of that kind of stuff. And then 
here on these shelves I keep these are full of flowers these are full of my Copic markers and this is my new um, sticker thing my to make my stickers because they discontinued one of them here is my um, what is this thing called Zutter it's the cutter thing that you've seen me on some of my videos I hope I can get it back on there and then my stapler that you can um, that has special staples but it's real wide so you can get in the middle of 12 by 12 sheets of paper here is another label maker here is the can't remember what that one is called bell binders don't use it ever the, these bins these and the three boxes up there are all full of envelopes full of die cuts and they're all categorized by baby and whatever there's thousands <laughs> just so when I go to scrapbook it's easier for me to do each of these baskets is full of rolls of um, tool that I frequently use and one just came out after me and so I imagine that this film is going to be kind of jumpy I'm sorry but I'm on my lunch break and here's the projects I'm working on I have to do 12 um, woody cutouts or centerpieces um, and they're four different sizes here's the biggest one but I've got them all cut out and all put together I just have to put the wood on them to make them stand like this little guy here and there's another one for Jake that I have to get done um, I have some more flowers here on the end where I have a little bit of space there and then these shelves are used for oh, more cutouts and these are my 8 by 11s these drawers are full of ribbons these are full of ribbons and what what does everybody call them my um, textures I don't know what these are full of my bind it all rings I have more paint under here and then I've got bin full of ribbons and then these little containers are full of stickers that are very rarely used but I don't want to throw them out so I kind of saved the stuff I don't use for Kendall she uses it all and over here we have more um, paper stacks and these shelves are all full of paper scraps um, these I believe are full of more ribbon and more bins of ribbon and these papers I call my specialty papers they're glitters and metallics on that row on, the, on, on that cabinet um, and then let me move my chair out of the way these are my pack stack paper stacks and these are my solids these um, are all my solid papers and, and again the stack packs here I keep my um, scissors and again I use all of this and, and when I work I'm right by my workstation so everything is readily available available to me to grab I don't have to get up and walk around um, this drawer is full of um, oh, what's it called now spellbinder uh, and um, what do I want to call this? Cuddle bugs. Cuddle bugs, all the cuddle bugs folders, those are all in here. And again, I have it all where I can get at it because this is where I sit and I do my work. Um, trying to think if I missed anything. This is where Kendall likes to post her artwork when she's done. She gets this whole area here to display her work. And then to, when she's sick of it, she takes it down. And I will back up again I know that a lot of you have seen this numerous times but um, again there's some who have not and I'm just going to show you again and this is what it looks like it's not a very big room but I make use of every square inch in here and I love my new lighting because those lights I can direct them any direction that I need so when I'm working I used to have six lights that I turned on including an out lamp 
and um, I was very 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 happy with the way it lights up and now I don't have to run around and turn on six lights and when I'm done working turn them all off so anyway I hope that um, you enjoyed that I can't remember who it was that asked me but this is my this is my office and this is where I work this is where I work my full-time real job and this is where I do my um, not real job <laughs> anyway my fun job have a great day bye